I know it looks like a massive muddy field, but I'm actually walking on top of a glacier, albeit a dirty one. And out here in the biting face of the cold, it's easy to imagine that the endless winter put pay to complex life on Earth. But of course, it didn't. Life survived. You and I are living, breathing proof of that. But when it comes to looking for the clues that might tell us how it pulled off its great survival trick, these wild, frozen places are a top place to look. You see, even on the exposed top of the glacier, it's possible to find chinks in the ice's armor, just big enough for life to exploit. Here we are. This is what we are looking for. This, we think, is very similar to what might have formed way back then. Some dust blew out onto the glacier, was warmed up by the sun, it melted the surface of the ice and formed this puddle. They're called cryoconites, and it's this simple combination of dust and water which proved to be life's saviour. Now, I know it doesn't look like much, but this is, in fact, a beautiful little oasis out here on top of this vast glacier. Yes, in this one small pool of water, there's abundant minerals from the dust and plenty of exposure to the air and sunlight. As astonishing as it sounds, that means it's possible to find life in muddy puddles like this. The simplest would be single-celled algae and bacteria, but there are others. These are images that have come from an actual cryoconite. We've got things like this rotifer here, and here, our favorite little water bear, the tardigrade. And they would be feeding on those smaller organisms, and all together, a soup here of different animals and plants in a simple food web. Now, I've got to tell you, I've seen life in some pretty amazing places in my time, but the idea that there could be a functional ecosystem living in a puddle on top of Europe's largest glacier, well, that is quite extraordinary. It's thought that during Snowball Earth, there would have been enough patches of exposed rock and land to generate dust. Not as much dirt as this, but enough to create many similar puddles. And what's more, scientists have exposed these tiny oases in the laboratory to conditions found on Snowball Earth, and the life inside survived. <laughs> 